You're watching Friday Night Live, sponsored by Valley Strong Credit Union. Grow your possibilities. Welcome to Friday Night Live. I'm Adrian Luevano. Week 10 means a lot of rivalry games on the schedule. Bakersfield traveled across the 99 to face Liberty. The Patriots are trying to take home the Southwest Yosemite title as well. The Drillers have not beaten the Patriots since 2017. Tybo Rogers is trying to change that. The Drillers captain runs 73 yards to the house. He ties the game up at seven in the first quarter. The Drillers then take the lead later in the first half. Quarterback Ty Montero calls his own number on the QB sneak. He fights his way across the goal line for a touchdown. He loses his helmet in the process too, but he gets the driller faithful on their feet. This next play was simply crazy. Montero rolls out of the pocket, goes back the other way. Dalen Leach makes the catch, but Liberty safety Caleb Rieswig punches the ball out. The Patriots recover in the end zone. What a play by the junior to force a turnover. Liberty storms back after being down 10 at halftime and captures another Southwest Yosemite title, 37-23. Stockdale has not won a league game this season. Could they get it tonight at Garces? Rams say, hey, not so fast. Check out this run by happening by their quarterback hands it off. Travis Plugi to number 25. Ian Jernigan takes it all the way for the score. Later, the offense keeps on rolling. Plugi does it himself. He runs it in for the touchdown to put the Rams up 14 to three. Then again, history repeats itself. Plugi hands off to Jernigan, who again shakes defenders and breaks tackles all the way into the end zone, putting Garces up 21 to three. Still in the first half, Plugi having himself a night. He finds number two, Zamir Hall, who does the rest. That would have put Garces up at halftime by a ton, and they would not look back. The Rams beat the Mustangs 44 to three. One of the best rivalries in the county is Wasco versus Shafter. The two met up at Centennial High School. We go to the start of the third quarter. The Generals hand the ball off to Koa Rhodes. The junior makes plenty of Tigers miss. He flies down the field but is tackled inside the five yard line. Shafter keeps the ball on the ground. Elijah Lucero gets the rock and just keeps on pounding. He powers his way into the end zone. The Generals go for two. Devin Sundgren takes a snap and gets inside the pylon. Wasco's defense, however, stopped the Generals rally in the second half. The Tigers win and capture their first league title since 2012. They're currently the top ranked team in Division Two. Time for some scores on Friday night. Live East Bakersfield upset Foothill last week. The Blades unable to get the win this time, losing to Highland 34 to 22. Both Centennial and Frontier were looking to bounce back after a tough week nine, and the Golden Hawks were able to do just that. They get their win 27 to 14 over the Titans. Foothill gets back on track with the win over Miramonte. The Trojans take home the Southeast Yosemite Conference Championship. Foothill winning that one 22 to 14. And after starting the year with six straight losses, Independence takes home their fourth straight win of the season by defeating Ridgeview in a blowout 42 to nothing. Hey, we're just getting started on Friday Night Live here at 23 ABC. We have more highlights and scores from across the region, including South versus North after the break. Hey, they said it. Welcome back to Friday Night Live. Beginning tonight, the North Stars and South Spartans will battle for a new trophy named the Legends Trophy. It will honor coaches from both high schools. Here we go out to the game. The records out during rivalry games. North comes out of the tunnel fired up for this one. The star is trying to pick up some yards with a bubble screen, but this pass gets knocked down. Almost a fumble there, but they called it incomplete. This time, North will pick up some yards on the ground. Marakai Shaw gets the handoff and works his way into the red zone by making some sweet moves. The Spartans defense held North in check and forced a fourth down. North go for the field goal, but they miss it. So South gets the ball back later in the quarter, but they will get picked off by the North defense. North gets the victory in a close one, 10 to seven. They take home the new Legends Trophy for the first time. The high school football party started on Thursday night with a handful of teams in action. We go to the west side of town for a matchup between Golden Valley and Bakersfield Christian. Darren Carr and his team were looking to defend the Eagles nest. Golden Valley's Camonte Jackson tries to make something happen here on a broken play. 
Bo Carr and Ben Bidart are there to force the sack. The Eagles turn on offense now. Braden Waterman surveys the field. He rolls out and launches a ball to the end zone. Nathan Perez right there to make the catch for the touchdown. And BCHS was not done making big plays on offense. Waterman throws this beautiful pass in the second quarter to Trent Martin and good luck catching him. He flies across the goal line for another Eagles touchdown. Bakersfield Christian wins their fifth game in a row and will head into the playoffs as South Yosemite League champions. Delano welcome undefeated Mission Oak to Kern County. The Hawks strike first through the air. Rudy Navarro hits Michael Ire over the middle for a Mission Oak touchdown. They would also get a two point conversion. The Hawks go by 29 points in the second quarter. So two minute drill here for Delano trying to get the ball downfield. Jaden Hernandez says, hey, that's my ball. He picks it off, goes all the way down the field for a pick six touchdown. Mission Oak shuts out Delano 52 to nothing. The Tigers finish the regular season winless in conference play. Kennedy was looking to lock up a spot in the Division III playoff bracket. They face Chavez. Tennis quarterback Isaiah Garcia drops back, fires the ball over to the sidelines by our camera. Guillermo Pompea makes the over-the-shoulder interception. The T-Birds would run some clock down and punt. Time running up for Chavez. They're down by two scores. Garcia met by a flock of Thunderbirds. They would, that would wrap up the game as well. Kennedy takes back the hammer and finishes a season with three straight wins. They have to wait and see what playoff division they will be in tomorrow afternoon. More scores on Friday Night Live. West already locked in a playoff spot, but the Vikings were unable to hold off to Hatchapi in the final week of the season. They lose 43 to 28. Over in Taft, the Wildcats beat Arvin 34 to 14. Taft finishes the season four and four. And right now, Taft is in the Division Six playoff bracket, trying to hang on. Kern Valley beats the Desert Scorpions 48 to nothing. The Bronx are hoping to sneak in the Division Six playoff bracket, definitely helping their chances with that big victory. And some more scores this time in the High Desert Conference, Bishop Union and Boron battle for the league title. The Bronx come out on top with a 20 to six win. Great win by them. And the Central Section hopes to have all the playoff brackets done by Saturday afternoon. And meanwhile, Friday Night Live will continue after the break with a look back at the best plays from week 10. Top three on 23 is next. Don't miss it. Welcome back to Friday Night Live! Hey, you know it, you love it. Now time to our favorite part of the show. Let's go to top three on 23. Starting with number three, check out this catch by the Stockdale receiver. Nice play by him, making a diving catch, but unfortunately for them, Garces handled him easily tonight. Number two, Ty Montero rolls out of the pocket for Bakersfield High School. He's gonna go back the other way. Dalen Leach is gonna make the catch, but Liberty safety Caleb Rieswing punches the ball out. The Patriots recover in the end zone. What a play by the junior to force that turnover. Patriots also got the win. And the top play came from Delano by the visiting team. Tigers trying to get the ball downfield. Mission Oaks, Jaden Hernandez picks the ball off. He's going to go all the way down the field for a pick six touchdown. The Hawks finish the regular season undefeated. That closes out week 10 of the high school football season. Thanks for making my first show at 23 ABC a good one. Plenty of college football games this weekend on our network tomorrow. Starts at 9 a.m. with Texas at Baylor. And back at home, Bakersfield College plays Long Beach at Memorial Stadium. Have a great weekend and see you next Friday for some playoff football.